Hello, I am I am presenting a paper by Johan Jan, Patricia Sotsbrunos, and Michael Yoko. How evidence-based design supports winter value generation for end users. So I have not been involved in, in this paper or underlying research, so it, it is my interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, thinking about cost of ingredients and, and uh, how they provide value, so there are two main uh, channels. First, the buildings provide uh, support, facilitate the flows and processes and operations in its many meanings in, in hospitals. But secondly, feelings uh, influence patients directly in bad and good ways. And now this study tries to create a link from evidence based design to that of viral generation. And we are especially looking how evidence-based design can be used to support design decision making and what is the value of evidence-based design from the patient's perspective. And this is a starting point of research initial stage. So the method is uh, synthesis of literature. The 30 papers have been looked and actually, among them, there are seven review papers, so, so there is much literature that is being consolidated, consolidated here. And here, the first part of, of the results that are paper, how could evidence based design be used in the design project? And I I think this EPD implementation has been exploded in the big uh, books. And there are different stages in this based design. First, we have a collection of, of evidence, and, and there are several good sources, the Cochrane uh, reports or database where from the medical sphere evidence is being collected. Secondly, the credibility of evidence must be uh, assessed and evidence from different sources will be then synthesized. And based on that, in design, better value hopefully can be provided and, and of course, it, it is a matter of expected value at that stage. I, I think the conclusion here is to add a further stage, namely monitoring of the implementation and measuring of the performance of the cells. And in anticipation of, of my paper tomorrow, I would say that in so doing this evidence-based design moves from Platonic approach to Aristotelian approach. Uh, another part of the results is then um, analysis of what evidence there is. And there is much information here. First, there is a, a clustering of which kind of evaluation may, may happen. So, A, there are ideas about patient safety and, and reducing stress level. B, there are ideas about the staff working efficiency, that is operations. C, 
there are ideas also indicates the need for mediation and ensuring uh, the state. And the, there are ideas promoting growth and equality. Then there are levels of credibility. First, in the mindset of evidence based design, so the best evidence to this program system is used. Then there are experimental studies, then there are core course, course like experiential studies, and, and then there is consensus and expert opinions, which is considered as the least evidence, but still evidence. And now, which kind of evidence can be found for hospital design? First, there are ideas uh, titled positive perception, like links to nature, seeing nature is claimed to accelerate healing, natural light instead of artificial. Some colors are healing, some, some, some less. So manual control, I suppose this is very abstract, but I would say as an example that I need to open the window, which for me is extremely important and interestingly we see that uh, there is only consensus or expert expert opinions on, on, on the importance of manual control in the approach. Privacy, as we know, there are very many supports uh, one patient rules and positive evidence of privacy. Uh, then there are and, and it is indicated into which clusters of, of, of the generation those ideas are in flexibility of, of use. There's station, personalized functional zone, very flexibility of patient flow, accessibility. Location, science, closeness, facilities, and, and maintenance. Type of service, glory, observance, mechanical control. So, um, there is evidence based information, but I, I, I guess we, we cannot avoid the, the impression that there is not much that could be. More. So, um, regarding the framework, what is important and critical is that there is this information flow through all the stages. Regarding value generation, there are issues there. Evidence is often complex and it is difficult to make interactions, correlations, uh, into, into action. And, and then, of course, the good intentions may be, may be lost in implementation. <coughs> and, and then it's, it's important to monitor what is happening and at the end of the day to, to measure the, the results. So, this is the starting point of our research, and we will try to go further in this area. Thank you very much. Thank you.